Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got a uh, nuked suicidal gunslinger run. So I've got this uh, this notebook, right? I'll uh, fiddle with it a little bit here, you can hear that. It's my, uh, it's my diary. It's my journal. It's what I, uh, what I write all of my, uh, my feelings into. It's, it's also <laughs> what I take notes when I'm uh, doing stuff on. But I kind of just meld them together. Like if I'm practicing cursive or something, like I'll just write it anywhere that there's space, right? And if I'm writing a diary entry, I'll just also write it anywhere that there is space. So I've got like notes and diary entries kind of like intermingling. And uh, they kind of uh, kind of go hand in hand. It's all like uh, so. So so there'll be uh, uh, let's see uh, notes about like uh, a language that I'm learning or something, and then uh, right next to it will be like me just feeling dumping like anger or uh, affection or, or something and then I'll want to like share my notes with somebody so I'll I'll take a picture of my notebook and uh, I'll have to like censor all of the um, all the stuff that I don't necessarily want them seeing and sometimes I'm just like you know what this one's just this one's too contaminated so you're not even you're not even gonna get to see it but I, know, I have like other notebooks too I could just have a diary notebook and then like a, a note notebook I just I don't because to me they're kind of like the same thing it's just kind of jotting down thoughts and uh, ideas and stuff just some of them are about my affection for people and my hatred for people and my and anger and 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 all that and some of them are about how to wish somebody a happy birthday in you know their favorite language like um, <laughs> So, they're, they're kind of the same thing to me, is it's all just writing down uh, the things I'm thinking about. Just kind of dumping this, uh, this stream of thought and, uh, well, it's mostly incoherent anyway, but. I don't know, I like it. It's, uh, it's fun to poke through it from time to time and, uh, and see the, like, history of, of what I've done. Since I uh, since I got this specific notebook, which is getting close enough to being full, uh, but it's uh, cause it, you know you got the uh, you got the feelings that I had at the time of making these notes, and I, I think that they're kind of fun to see go hand in hand. I'm like a I'm a sentimental person though, not necessarily about objects, but about just things. Not not object things, but things as in like events or happenings or, or something like that. Like I love looking through uh, through old screenshots of um, of conversations I've had with people or or jokes I've made or laughed at. I love um, poking through uh, like old hi the history of, uh, of conversations and, and reading what we talked about and, and reliving those experiences and then uh, this notebook kind of does a really great way of doing that because it gives me both the uh, the thing that I was doing at the time the, the thing I was taking notes on at the time which you know could range anywhere from like a math thing to practicing cursive to uh, to, to language to, to, to who knows what right and uh, and I also get the, the feelings mixed in there with that, and it kind of gives me this like all-around view of of, uh, of what was happening at that time. So it's kind of a kind of a fun thing to uh, to do for me. But it does it does make it hard to share my notes with people when uh, when I want to share them with them. I'll often take like pieces of paper and just cover it up, or uh, I'll just kind of like censor it out with uh, just scribbles on uh, on the picture in post. Often what I do is I'll take a picture of it on my phone. It's, it's, it's the most, it's the dumbest workflow you could you could ever come up with, but it works for me. 
much like that uh, that AXKCD. Um, you know, the, you would you would uh, hold down the space bar and then the uh, like they they fixed a bug where holding the space bar would make the uh, the system heat up. And uh, the guy's like, but I had my computer configured so that if the uh, the temperature was above a certain point, that it would you know, open up the, the application that he uses or whatever. And so he'd hold down space bar and it would open it up, right? It was just a, it was a joke. It was an XKCD comic, right? And uh, I'm like, my work, my work case is probably maybe not as dumb as that, but you know, it's definitely a, a very special work case or a, a very special use case, very special workflow. Um, but what I do is I'll take a picture of it on my phone right and I will upload it to my personal discord server which only I am in I use it mostly for testing bot development and whatnot and uh, then I will screenshot the photo with um, actually I can I can I can show you maybe so we're on the right display capturer here yeah I can like take a thing here and then I can I can draw on it and then save it and uh, it'll it'll save it and upload it and all that um, where, have I already have I already bought everything I need yeah yeah so I'll screenshot it like that and then like cover up whatever I need to have covered up and then upload that screenshot of the picture that I took which is uh, I'd say it's a special workflow. It's a special use case of, uh, of of all this different technology. I'm I'm aware. I'm aware that it's it's special, you know. I'm aware, but it works for me. I do I do it far more often than uh, I think is reasonable. I oftentimes will upload the picture to Discord just so that I can look at it on my computer because that's how I get photos to my computer generally. Unless I need the quality to not be compressed. I don't know if Discord compresses it. I think it's just sharing the file as is. So it should be fine. But if I if I specifically need it to not be compressed, then um, I'll just upload it directly to my computer, which is a, like more work, but it's 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 a use case of that word that I wanted in a previous episode where it's like the least intrusive thing. Like it's it's more work, but the least possible more work you could possibly have. So I don't do it if I don't have to, but if I have to, then it's it's not, I'm not complaining about it. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, it's always good fun when I have to take a picture of it, which isn't all too often, but it does happen fairly often. I try to uh, I try to keep my my notes on the uh, the right half of the page. So if I'm opening it up left to right, like the book left to right, then uh, I will. Uh, if I'm opening up the book, holding it front, and I write left to right, then um, that's my my notes, my uh, things that I'm I'm wanting to pay attention to. And if I open it up left. Uh, like the other way so if I flip it and then I write continuing left to right um, that will be my uh, what should we call it that'll be like my diary entries and whatnot generally but it, it, it gets mixed up more often than it maybe should too I'm guessing. I'm guessing here. I'm guessing we get a Hans because uh, that seems like the only thing we're getting this week. Outside of, I think the, the we got a Patriarch in the last one, and then a, uh, we got a Matriarch in the last one, and then we got a Patriarch in the second episode. But I think, oh yeah, we got an Abomination dude. Oh yeah, now we're and we got a King Fleshbound. I'm guessing we're gonna get Hans though, because we got a lot of Hans this week. King Fleshbound, I'm okay with this. You don't have those weird tentacly legs this time. You only got the weird like demon head. Freak. You freak. You're a freak of nature, you. You're mutant. 
I think the Flesh Pounds are mutants. I don't know if they're clones. I think they're clones of a mutant. Experiments or something? I don't know. Do not know the lore of Killing Floor 2 that well. I only know that, uh... What's his face? The Patriarch. What's his name? Kevin... Kevin something, rather? I, I like, I'm thinking Kevin Spacey, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's not Kevin Spacey, right? I, I think it's not Kevin Spacey. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is Kevin Spacey, but I don't think it is. Also, what was that fight? <laughs> I've had I've had regular flesh pound fights harder than that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right. Well, you know, you got Kevin Spacey making his uh, his weird flesh pound dudes. It's not Kevin Spacey. It's not probably. What? No, I need I need to know. Patriarch, KF2, Kevin. It is Kevin Claimly. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin Claimly. He made his he made his weird mutants and his weird clones and it's his children and it's it's all kinds of all kinds of badness. And anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the if you like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.